So good morning and welcome. I am Guru Parulkar. I am the summit chair. Uh, please also meet Dan Pitt, who is the vice chair for the summit. Uh, we had yesterday two tutorials on for one for the engineers and one for uh, managers. Uh, the engineering tutorial, Dan, um, Brandon and the team did a phenomenal job in terms of getting 100 people uh, introduced to OpenFlow, internals of OpenFlow, OpenFlow components, and not only that, get them to have OpenFlow working on their laptop and or program that OpenFlow network. So that was terrific. Then Kyle and team, uh, they were able to present a number of compelling cases, use cases for OpenFlow and SDN in different domains of use, data center, enterprise, service providers, and so on, from people with a lot of operational experience. So that was also very exciting and compelling to see that there are people who believe OpenFlow and SDN can be used for real um, uh, particular domains of use. Anyway, so with that day behind us today, both Dan and I would like to welcome you to the inaugural Open Networking Summit. Uh, this is the, we would like to make it a premier event for open flow and software defined networking, a forum where we can all get together and share the latest and greatest development in open flow and software defined networking, learn about products, technologies, new applications, new startup companies, and so on. Also a particular forum where we can meet with people that are interested in all aspects of software defined networking and open flow people that may be your customers, people that may be your partners, people that may be your um, customers, vendors, as well as competitors, and of course, researchers like me. Also, a forum where newcomers can come and quickly learn about OpenFlow and SDN and come up to speed so they can participate in what's happening with OpenFlow and SDN. With that, I'm sure you're still wondering why do we need yet another event that is dedicated to OpenFlow and SDN. Aren't there already too many events on our calendars for the year, right? We deliberated about it, we thought about it, and came to the conclusion that we do indeed need another event. There are a number of conferences that are starting to talk about OpenFlow and SDN. Uh, they are including uh, talks and a session or maybe even a track about OpenFlow and SDN, but to them, OpenFlow and SDN is just another topic, yet another technology to talk about. To us, OpenFlow is a new approach. OpenFlow is a, maybe a new paradigm on even a new revolution in networking. And so we believe having an event that is dedicated to OpenFlow and SDN would serve the community well and will uh, benefit the community a lot. Of course, that is how we think today. We may be wrong, we will learn and we may revisit this topic uh, later. Even with that level of optimism and uh, enthusiasm, look at how I was wrong in predicting the growing demand and the interest in OpenFlow and SDN. Six months ago, when we started planning for OpenFlow Summit, this particular summit, we thought we would be doing good if we got 150 people at the conference, that is this event, maybe one engineering tutorial with 50 participants, and if we got maybe uh, half a dozen demos, we will be doing good. It turns out there are more than 600 people interested in participating in the summit. There are more than 200 people wanting to attend the tutorials, and there were more than 25 companies and organizations that wanted to do the demos. So that's pretty exciting. Unfortunately, we were able to accommodate only 350 people at the summit, uh, 200 people for the tutorials, and only 20 demos. Okay. Uh, even though we had to limit the attendance, we are pretty excited about the mix of participants that are there today at the summit. You will see, if you look around, you will see there are people from providers and network owners that buy and deploy a huge amount of networking gear every year. There are people from vendors, chip vendors, system vendors, and software vendors that provide all that networking gear uh, and constitute the value chain for the networking industry. Then there are, of course, people from large companies, and there are people from startups as well. There are a number of startups that are getting funded in this particular space. And then, of course, there are people like me from universities and the research community as well. And surprisingly, there is starting to be enough interest 
from media and analyst community as well. And so you may run into some media and analyst people as well uh, at the summit. So the bottom line is you will definitely meet interesting people at the summit. Please make good use of the uh, break, um, breakout sessions as well as social events in order to connect with these people. Some people that may be customers, some people may be uh, partners, vendors, competitors, and researchers as well. Okay? I am also very excited about the summit agenda. Uh, we are very fortunate to have the creators and leaders of OpenFlow and Software Defined Networks with us on the agenda. Uh, that includes Martin, Scott, and Nick. I have heard all three of them give many talks about OpenFlow and SDN over the years. And every time they talk, I still find their talks to be very insightful and very inspiring. And I, I'm pretty sure you would do uh, that too. Okay. On top of that, now we have three more sessions that will talk about the different domains of use, where there is a lot of interest and excitement uh, about OpenFlow and SDN, that is data center networking, enterprise networking, and the service provider networking. For each one of these sessions, we will hear about uh, technologies, applications, and markets, and what's happening in those areas. Finally, uh, not finally, we will also have a talk uh, from Dan Pitt, on Open Networking Foundation that is chartered with the standardization and um, uh, promotion of OpenFlow and SDN. We will also have a closing panel that will be talking about the OpenFlow opportunities and challenges in the marketplace as we go forward. We also have a set of demonstrations that are going on uh, during the lunch hour today and in the morning session tomorrow. So with that, again, I want to add my welcome and good morning to you, and I hope you are going. You will have a very productive and enjoyable summit here. I want to give an opportunity to Dan Pitt, who wants to say his welcome as well.